Nuclear industry proponents say this fast breeder reactor offers a panacea for resource-poor Japan's energy woes. But 25 years and $13 billion after construction began, it has managed to produce electricity for only one hour. The former executive director of the Japan Atomic Energy Agency, Saburo Kikuchi, says the investment is still worth it. One trillion yen is a small investment over 10 to 20 years, as long as we can achieve something significant for humanity. Monju's breakthrough potential has less to do with generating electricity than with producing plutonium. Scientists believe the fast breeder reactor could create fuel for the country's other reactors, ending the need for imported uranium. But a series of accidents has suspended operations for years at a time. In 1995, hundreds of kilograms of molten sodium leaked. In 2010, a three-ton piece of equipment fell on the reactor vessel. Monju's Deputy Director General Takahide Deshima says the plant once again is gearing up to resume full operations. It will depend on the results of the testing now underway here and government approval, but we are hoping for 100% operation of Manju. If all goes according to plan, sometime next year the turbines in this room will start spinning again and Manju will generate electricity out onto the grid. Hopefully, this time, for more than one hour. Although the media continues to focus on the Fukushima accident, things are already calming down, and that trend will continue. I'm confident the silent majority of Japanese, who are contemplating the country's energy policy, will return to supporting our industry. Anti-nuclear activists contend fast breeders are more dangerous than conventional reactors, and Monju is located adjacent to an earthquake fault. There are also worries over the weapons-grade plutonium the reactor can produce. Monju's supporters say safety has dramatically improved because of lessons learned from the plant's own accidents, as well as studying what went wrong at Fukushima. They say international inspections and Japanese law ensure Monju's plutonium cannot be diverted to any clandestine weapons project. Steve Herman, VOA News, Suruga, Japan.